welcome back to another Tech Depth Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on the Samsung 12.4 inch, uh, that is the S7 FE. This video will show you the steps uh, to be taken in order to change the front panel. So the front glass is actually cracked and there is like also some complication by the frame. So most of the time, like the frame can be hit or miss when it comes to this type of screen repair. So we'll show you all the necessary steps in order to take to complete this repair. First, you're going to be using a Phillips screw, a suction cup holder, a frame glue remover and contrast to isopropyl alcohol. This is to be more efficient, a curved screen disassembler along with the plastic uh, card. And then we're gonna just warm up the heat mat. You can also use a heat gun, but I uh, would recommend a heat mat while you do the work so the glue can be loosened. We're gonna set a temperature anywhere between 60 to 90 degrees. I'm gonna use the frame glue remover to apply on the edge of the frame. Let it sit for like a good five minutes. We're gonna start finding an enclosure using the curved screen disassembler. And by the way, if you saw any parts or tools in this video, all the links are below in the description or visit techdev.com. We do provide advanced data recovery services as well as mail-in repairs. Moreover, we ship parts worldwide so we are one click away to your door. Please visit us. So you want to be a little bit careful not to go too deep in this section because this is where resides the front camera. Always remember to reapply a little bit of the frame glue remover. So it's starting to open now we can ship to the plastic card. The reason why I'm using the plastic card is because it is less prone to rip any ribbon cables. So you want to always use something that's flexible. I do not recommend using the eye opener or the prying tool with the rigid tip. And make sure you go inside below the LCD so you can start pushing the front screen. And there you go. So after doing this, it should open like a book. However, be mindful of the main board connection that is actually connected to the screen. So you don't want to fully open it. You want to first disconnect that ribbon cable, which is very important for the rest of the procedure. So using like a plastic spudger, Make sure you take care of this guy first before fully disassembling the screen. Then gently peel it out. And there you have it.
So when it comes to like replacing the screen, usually the assembly comes with like a Wacom cable that is linked to the daughter board into the LCD. So you have to be mindful that certain ones, they don't come with that tiny connection. So you want to transfer it over to the new screens. So in the meantime, we're going to clean the frame and make sure it's perfectly uh, flat so the new screen can sit on it. Always good to get rid of the excess adhesive. Most technicians sometimes they disregard that step thinking that the new adhesive will stick on just fine, which is untrue. You always want to make sure that your housing frame is as clean as possible uh, in order to avoid uh, people returning. Because what happens is that over time uh, the screen can lift up if it's not properly sealed. And also make sure you examine the frame to make sure there is no dents that can like provoke any future cracks to the screen. It does happen more often. So, which is why um, using a Dremel sometimes can always help. So, after removing the adhesive, there are certain areas such as here. So, we're gonna start by trying to polish in this area here to make sure the screen sits flat. Using a Dremel, try to be very careful with it. This should be good enough. Just want to make sure that the screen sits flat. So as long as the screen can go down by the edge, it should be good. So no chance of like not being completely sealed. We're gonna remove the excess of the adhesive using the frame glue remover. So after examining the housing, it is ready to have the new screen installed on. So like I was mentioning earlier, the new screen doesn't come with the daughter board and the Wacom flex cable. So we're going to need to transfer the board with the Wacom flex cable onto the new screen. So first you want to disconnect the LCD flex. Slightly glued onto the screen. Then moving on, this is the new screen, this is the old screen. So like I was mentioning earlier, we're gonna need to transfer the daughter board connected with the Wacom flex cable onto the new display. First start by disconnecting what seems to be the LCD connected to the daughter board. Then you wanna disconnect the Wacom flex cable. The other board is slightly glued onto the panel. Make sure it's aligned. All is left now is to install the new display onto the frame. So for this one, there is two ways to glue so to put back the display assembly onto the frame, I recommend either using a B7000 uh, glue or like you can always use the double side tape. Either way, both of them are a very good option. Then we're gonna put the LCD flex connection from the main board onto the LCD. So before fully closing it, we want to make sure it sits perfectly because there was a small complication, remember? Perfect. So 
Well, it's it before closing the deal, I want to make sure it turns on and the touch works. Perfect. Okay, then thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. Again, if you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdead.com or click in the link below for mailing repairs. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.